So this is my new to me $1,500 240D that I got over in Bremerton, Washington from the same family that sold me my 560 SEL. And uh, this one's a fair bit rougher, but I did uh, manage to limp it home from Bremerton. Um, so I'll give you a quick walkthrough. We'll take a little bit of a ride around the the neighborhood, um, but it's a car I'm going to work on first before I get the uh, the blue one ready to do the cross country trip, which we're kind of settling in on. So this is also a '79 uh, Mercedes 240D. You can see the paint um, here is really faded. It's a, almost a white. Um, you know, faded out bad. However, I took a few minutes to try and kind of see what the paint might come back like um, if I put just a little bit of effort into it. So you can see I started working the hood here. And it doesn't necessarily come out great, but you can see that this is much better. And it's a little bit more obvious up here on the roof where I did half the roof. Um, with uh, just a hand cut, uh, hand polish with uh, with Meguiar's, and you can see that it you know, makes a really big difference. So I think we're going to be able to get a lot of this paint back. Um, on the way back over from Bremerton, the car lost the alternator, um, so I did put a new alternator in last weekend. The car is generally pretty clean. Um, doesn't have much in the way of options, no air conditioning. Uh, it's no power windows. Like I said, it's a 240. However, when you look at some of those key spots like the jack points, rear fenders, dog leg, see a couple little dings and dents, but the dog leg, bottoms of the doors. I mean, this thing is actually in physically in really nice shape. Mechanically, it's needs a little bit of help. The transmission shifting uh, very poorly. These tires have got to be 20 years old. Um, so they're going to need to get replaced. But you can see the car in and of itself is in is pretty straight it's got a scrape here and a few little dings and dents this doesn't um surprise you on a car that's this old this is um i've gotten some parts for it to just do some of the basic stuff so um new motor mounts air filter oil filter transmission uh transmission kit going to put new hoses on um yeah, there's the there's the original sign i managed to get it for 1500 um it does have really nice shape on the mb tex has the original has the original first aid kit inside here. This window doesn't work, so I've got a new window regulator coming. Um, it's a roll down, so it should be relatively easy to replace. It's about $40 on Rock Auto. Um, you can see it's got the original uh, Becker Europa radio in it. That works, kind of. Um, so why don't we give this thing a, a start take a look at it um, running and then take it for a little spin around the around the neighborhood so you can see the dash doesn't have any cracks issues, glow plug lights off. Oh, yeah, the neutral safety switch. It works in neutral, does not work in park. So that's gonna be a... Uh... All 
that's going to be on the short list of things to get fixed before it doesn't work at all. Indoor card stepper, typical issues there, but again, not bad. that says these are dog slow. Little right. It's not bad. Once the car warms up, it runs out nice, shifts fine. It's gonna need brakes. Um, I think the master cylinder is a little bit sketch. You can see on balance, it's a like I said it's a good little car. Everything seems to work. So the heater works, the um, blower works, even the sunroof opens. So the plan is going to be to get this one fixed up and kind of suitable for use while I get the 300D ready for the cross country trip we're going to, we're planning right now to do with my daughter in July. Take that here from Washington State um, to upstate New York for my nephew's um, high school graduation. You can feel or hear that that uh, shift wasn't all that great um, so it does flare a little bit but it generally is okay when it warms up so I think that you know start with the transmission service and see what happens there you see it's kind of flaring a bit um, but my nephew has a graduation in upstate New York so that's a about a 2800 2900 mile trip from uh, from kind of the western regions of Washington State here to uh, Syracuse. So the plan is my daughter and I will take that 300D and make a run and see if that makes it all the way there and back, about 6,000 miles plus minus, or plus, probably over 6,000 miles. So I want to get that one ready to go. And I kind of felt like the best way to do that is to get this one kind of back and and sorted uh, in the comfort of the garage so that that way if I end up having to deal with anything on the road I've at least experienced it once before on this. So you can see the transmission is wow 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 coming off. But it's a good it's a good little car on balance. Um, certainly at the price point, the body is in really good shape. The engine seems to be in good shape. Transmission, you know, I'm hoping that it's just the service, maybe the modulator, but nothing, um, nothing substantive. And we'll be able to get this thing back, uh, back on the road and I'll use it for a little bit and then I'll probably sell this one off and keep the, uh, keep the 300 after the trip across country. So I'll keep you posted as we do work on both this one and the 300 and look forward to uh, the next adventure.